Hey, it's SJ. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new here. My name is Sarah Jane and I bring you guys with me on my debt-free journey to pay off $20,000 of debt. Today is my August budget video. I'm still pretty new at sharing with you guys my monthly budget because for me personally, I break things down bi-weekly, which is when I get paid. But it seems like a lot of people here share their budget via monthly, so I'm trying to like get on board with that. So I apologize if this is still a work in progress. Um, I'm really late at always posting these videos and it's not intentionally, it is just that this month particularly, I wanted to, uh, I like to share how I did the month prior, so how I did with my spending in July, and then share what my goals are for the next month. But July was the first month that I shared with you guys my monthly budget, and then it ended up being a three paycheck month. And it just really screwed up the way I was looking at everything, and yeah. I was so good at tracking my expenses up until, oh gosh, I think, up until like when Cider, my dog got hurt and had to go to the ER, at that point it was like, okay, obviously blew my budget because I had to pay for a huge vet bill. Um, and then I think I just kind of got discouraged and stopped tracking for the rest of the month. So we are trying to be better for the month of August. We can always just try to improve ourselves. That is the goal. So let's go ahead and start with the budget. I'm gonna share my take home pay, which is after my retirement contributions, my benefit contributions, and 20% that goes to taxes. Um, after all that's said and done, I take home $3,760. Um, so first going into my living expenses. So my mortgage is $1,465 a month. My HOA is monthly is $254. Pixie Set, which is my like photography gallery platform, is $15 a month. My Google email, which is associated with my photography business, is $6 a month. I actually had to start paying pet insurance after everything that happened. I wanted to go ahead and hop on that. Pet insurance is very expensive, by the way. I was shook by how much they wanted to charge me. So um, I went with Lemonade, and they are $26.58 a month. My car insurance is $85 a month. My car is $350 a month. Music bed, which is music that I use for my YouTube videos, is $25 a month. Electricity is $75 this month. My cell phone is $76 this month. Gym membership is $50 a month. I really wish I could have like a cheaper gym membership. I like I wish there was a Planet Fitness near me, but this is there's only two gyms near me and they both cost around the same price and they're not even that good. Anyways. My credit card is $200 a month, my internet is $45 a month, and my Adobe, which pays for like all my things that I need for my photography business is $21 a month. Looking at my bills nowadays, I my business expenses honestly probably come up to about 50 bucks a month, and I don't, I still pay for that personally. One of these days I would like to get to a point where I am using my photography money to pay for those expenses, but not quite there yet. So that brings my bill total to $2,693.58, which is a lot. Like living in the area that I live in, which is in Northern Virginia, is a very expensive area to live in. Um, also this month I have a water bill due, which is about $121. This is due every three months. Um, what I do is I always put extra money from my, my like, budget into a mortgage account and I put in a little bit extra so that when my water bill does come up um, it's not as painful and so that money will be coming from that account. Alrighty so let's go into my budget. What I am left to play with is about a thousand and seventy five so the way I'm breaking down my budget is for groceries, I'm putting aside $350. It's a little bit lower than normal. Um, I think I've been overestimating just a smidge on groceries and that's fine. Transportation, I'm thinking about $200 for gas. Gas is still kind of high, so we're gonna leave that there. Also, sometimes I do take the Metro. Out fund, which is just like grabbing a coffee with some friends or you know some drinks with my boyfriend or whatever if I wanna pick up the tab. It's gonna be $100 this month. For my boyfriend's sinking fund, I am budgeting $40 from the month. 
um, for my savings. I am putting $50 um, towards my savings for my dog. My dog is gonna be higher this month. So I need to buy her dog food, so that's gonna be $85 this month. And then for flex spending, which is kind of like leftover from um, what I have left in my paycheck, that's gonna be about $250 this month. So that's kind of where my budget stands. Once again, still a work in progress, but I'm getting there. And I also wanted to share percentage breakdowns because I think that's, I thought that'd be kind of interesting to take a look at and share with you guys. Housing, which is my mortgage and HOA, is 46% of my income, which is crazy. I definitely want to get that down, Look like looking at it from a percentage aspect. I mean, that is just way too much, but for right now, there's not much I can really do about that, but that's something that is now at the forefront of my mind. Um, I can't really change my mortgage payment, I'm not, and I'm not going to refinance because I have a pretty low percentage for this place. Um, for my debt, which is my car and my credit card, that is taking up 15% of my income. Um, my bills, which I just shared with you guys, a total takes up 17%, which I think isn't bad. Um, and then my actual living expenses, so my groceries, transportation, savings, all that kind of stuff, that makes up 22% of my income. This is the first time I've really like broken down the percentages like this. I am displeased with my housing. <laughs> This area is a very high living, high cost living area though. Um, so I don't know, just something that I am now thinking about that I hadn't really thought about before. Anyways, that's it for today's video, guys. I hope you guys, well, how is your budget breaking down? How much are you guys paying on your housing? I am now curious. <laughs> I would love to know. Um, but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new here so you can be part of my debt-free journey. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.